I've been getting asked a lot about Riverview, Florida. What's it like? What are some of the good neighborhoods to consider moving to? Good questions. And I really appreciate all of the comments because this came up in one of the comments to one of my YouTube videos about Riverview. So I decided to do a video today and we're gonna break down some of my favorite neighborhoods. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, I'm Emily. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Florida and I live in the Tampa St. Pete area. And this channel is dedicated to everything having to pertain to living, working, playing, sleeping, eating, and especially the Florida real estate market. But most importantly, the Tampa St. Pete real estate market. So if that resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I try to drop new videos weekly. So please hit that little bell so that you're notified when I do drop videos. And don't forget, you can always leave me a comment below. I really, really appreciate you guys giving me feedback or giving me video suggestions like this one today is a video suggestion. So if you have any videos that you'd like me to do, please comment below and I'd gladly record them for you. And as always, if you're looking to relocate to the Tampa St. Pete area or you're just moving somewhere within the Tampa St. Pete area and you need a little bit of uh, insider view as to where to go and where to start, I'm your girl. This girl sells real estate. That's what my shirt says. <laughs> so go ahead and reach out to me. I'd really love to help you. I've been helping lots of people over YouTube and it's really been fun. You can get on my calendar as well for a 30 minute consultation and we can discuss a little bit more privately some of your real estate needs or relocation needs. I'd be glad to help you out. So today I thought I would do a map view of Riverview and to show you a little bit of some of the neighborhoods that I think you might wanna consider. Okay, so here's obviously a map of Tampa to the east, and we've got this little town called Riverview right to the southeast of downtown Tampa. And what I decided to do is break down a couple of these neighborhoods that are coming up on people's radar. We're gonna talk about Ashley Oaks, Boyette, Lake St. Charles, a little bit of Bloomingdale, and a little bit of Bell Creek. We are gonna focus a little bit more into the heart right here of Riverview. Here's the thing about Riverview. When I was growing up in Tampa, Riverview, Brandon, those areas really didn't exist. It was mainly, you know, uh, agriculture, lots of cows, farming. We never really went over into that area. It just wasn't on our radar and there wasn't anything to do. And over the past like 30, 40 years, that area has really blown up. And as I've said in other videos, you know, what happened was everybody kind of got pushed out of Tampa proper and they went east into Riverview area and that area started to really get developed. And so Riverview itself is pretty spread out. And like you'll notice some of these communities that I've highlighted here, I really love this Lake Charles area and this Ashley Oaks. And so this area right here is a real prime real estate opportunity. And there's a couple of reasons for that. You're right off of 75 and 301, which is basically the heartbeat of Riverview and Brandon when you're looking for commuting. If you need to commute into downtown Tampa, you're really close. So you would take either 301 or 75 and you'd hop on the Salmon Expressway and you would head into Tampa. And it doesn't take you that long, probably 15 minutes at the most. And so most of my videos, as a lot of you know, I, I focus on the west part of Tampa because that's where I live and I play and I know a lot about it. This part of town, I'll be honest with you, I don't really hang out there a lot, but I do show a lot of houses in this area. So I've cherry picked a little bit today of some areas that I really like. So let's start with that Lake Charles area. What you're gonna see is definitely deeded communities, a little bit nicer communities. The Lake St. Charles Community Development District was created around 1995. So you will see that some of the areas definitely look a little bit nicer than others. Pretty much my viewpoint of Riverview in general is that on one side of the street, you can have these deeded communities, basically HOA communities, and they're really well kept and they're beautiful. And they, a lot of them have these brick walls around them. But on the other side of the street, you can have unincorporated neighborhoods where you're gonna start to see RVs and boats and sometimes even stores 
storage units sitting on people's property. And it's just doesn't have the same curb appeal that most of, you know, other communities that are deeded are going to have. So you have to really consider whether you need some home that has better curb appeal than others. It's really going to be up to you. But then on the other side is you're going to have to pay those HOAs. Now, some of these communities that have been around for a while, you don't have to worry too much because the HOAs are probably pretty low. But let's just take a look at the MLS real quick. So from an MLS perspective, let's just take a look at some of the homes that are available currently in Lake St. Charles. You're going to see anything from that 494, very nice home, a 3-2. This is going to be your average home. And a lot of the homes you're going to see, they look a lot alike, right? So around Lake St. Charles, we've got a home that's 494, we've got a home that's 474, we've got a home 415, 400. So you can get a really nice home with a 2,000 square feet or more, a 3-2, possibly a pool, or at least space for a pool, around this Lake St. Charles area. So it is high on my list when I'm talking to clients. And then as you can go a little bit over to Lake St. George Boulevard over here, if I can get that out of my mouth, villages of Lake St. George, same thing. Really nice community. There, Look, there's a house right there for 350. So there are options. Again, some of these homes are gonna be from the 1990s. So it just depends on how much renovation they've already gone through. And then you can obviously get into the upper, upper five, six, and even I saw something a minute ago, a little bit higher than that. But again, 300,000 to about 600,000 Lake St. George is going to be right there for you. So moving on, Ashley Oaks, very similar. So there's not much I can tell you from you know, aesthetically what these places look like. It's really gonna just depend on what works for you from an external perspective. Like I was mentioning, some of these areas are, are incorporated and some are unincorporated. So Ashley Oaks has a very similar feel to Lake St. George, um, really pretty communities, and then some areas that might not be as aesthetically pleasing. But what I do love is that you are sort of in the center of the hubbub. So. As you go south, and I'll talk about it in a minute, as we go south down this way, you're not gonna have as many options for big shopping. So the big shopping is really gonna be closer to 75. I also want to point out that the schools are really good in this area. I know in Bloomingdale and especially Fishhawk, which is more south, you've got some really good schools, but obviously I'm not the expert on school systems. So please check niche.com or do your own research. But I know that that's a, another reason why families in particular are moving to the Riverview Brandon area and the Bloomingdale Fishhawk area is because the schools are so great. And it's very, very neighborhood uh, friendly with really active sidewalks, you know, with people riding bikes, everything. I, I really like to think of it as almost like Wesley Chapel's, you know, step cousin or something like that. You know, uh, Wesley Chapel to me is a little bit more groomed, a little bit uh, has a lot more shopping, um, big shopping areas. Riverview, I think what happened was Wesley Chapel looked at Riverview and said, oh, we can do better. And so Wesley Chapel is just to me a step up from Riverview. Riverview still has wonderful things to offer. As far as parks go, you've got this really cool park I'm about to share. One of the most popular nature preserves is the Alafia Scrub. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty big nature preserve. Again, lots of walking. And uh, if your kids are into like looking for bugs or turtles or that sort of thing, it provides a nice big area where you can walk for quite a bit. Um, I, I can't speak to whether you can bike on it or not, but I love that it's right along this little river here. Alafia Scrub Nature Preserve sits along the Alafia River, makes sense, as it leads out to Hillsborough Bay, which is near Gibsonton. So you do have a lot more nature when you have those kinds of rivers around you. So you're not going to have a problem finding parks to hang out in, whether it's got a playground or it's got, you know, a, a walking trail or a biking trail. This part of town, especially on the east side of town, has way more nature preserves than any part of Tampa, in my opinion. And there's also Triple Creek Nature Preserve. So again, lots of parks in this area, lots of things to do with the family if you guys are into nature. And so a couple of other things that I, I, I personally like that's in Riverview is they've got 
the eye fly. If you've ever done that, it's the indoor skydiving thing. They've got Top Golf, which is always fun. They also have Sky Zone, where it has all those fun trampolines. I always end up hurting myself when I do that with my nieces and nephews, but it's fun. They always make you buy those socks though. Uh, but there's tons to do. Again, it's a very, very suburban, um, family oriented area, the Riverview area. So if that's up your alley, definitely put it on your list. You can reach out to me and I can help you pinpoint some different neighborhoods that would work for you. So let's get back to some neighborhoods. I want to talk to you about a few more areas. All right, so we've talked about Lake St. Charles, we've talked about Ashley Oaks, there's also Riverdale Hills, which is a really nice area too, and it's gonna be get you closer to all that shopping. So if you really like to be closer to shopping, that's an area to consider. And then as we go south, down 301, uh, obviously that's you know Riverview proper there. You've got the Tiki Docks River Bar, uh, River Bar and Grill, which is really cool. It sits on the river. It's nice and big. You have great views. Um, I'm actually putting that on my date night list myself because I pass it all the time. And then as you head a little bit more east on um, Balm River Riverview Road, you're going to head into Boyette Boyette Springs and this Bell Creek Drive. So. All this as you're heading into Fishhawk. Fishhawk is over here. I'm going to do a video on Fishhawk. That's next. Because as you go more east, Fishhawk is really its own community over there. And there's a lot to talk about. Now let's talk about some of the communities, those plan, master plan communities going in. You know, I think Riverview has really done a lot in the past 20 years, 20, 30 years with those master plan communities. So you're not seeing a ton of new construction. You'll see a few areas popping up, but again, it's gonna be sprinkled around some of the more agricultural, you know, deep areas. You can also get, interestingly enough, a big nice piece of land and put a house on it. So as you know, you drive around Riverview, you're going to just see an array of different areas. You're going to see those planned communities, you're going to see those unincorporated communities, and you're going to see opportunity for land. So that's something that you don't get on in Tampa proper. And a lot of times on the west side of Tampa, there's just not enough land left. Now let's talk about shopping because who doesn't love to talk about shopping? Let me pull that up for you shopping 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 it's really important to know where the good shopping is right it is for me so uh you can see here we've got bloomingdale hills bloomingdale town center goolsby point shopping center shop sapoyette rivercrest lake st charles so a lot of these over here you're gonna see they're, they're a little bit smaller right they're gonna have your Publix. They're gonna have your little mom and pop places, your barber shops, you know, your oil changes, that sort of thing. And then you're gonna kind of go up closer to this neck of the woods. And this is where you're gonna see the Targets and the Walmarts, that sort of thing, all along this road, which is um, Bloomingdale Avenue. You really can't go wrong. You'll be able to find a ton of stuff in there. So you'll see though, if I move my map and hit search again, See out here in this Bloomingdale area and the Boyette Springs, not a lot of shopping. Really the shopping is gonna be closer to 301 and that Bloomingdale Avenue. And you just have to keep that in mind when, if you're somebody that needs to have a grocery store down the street, just keep that on your radar, okay? As far as things to do, I found something interesting that I did not know about. There is a museum called the International Independent Showman's Museum. And it is a museum about traveling shows like circuses and that sort of thing. So if that's your bag, that's something interesting to do. But don't forget in Sarasota, we've got the Ringling Museum, which is really cool. So if you're into that, I would probably go to Sarasota, but you've got that in Riverview if that's something you're interested in as well. And don't forget living in Riverview, you are going to be a little bit closer to Bush Gardens, Adventure Island and Lowry Park, if that's something that you're interested in. Those are our main, amusement parks that are close in the Tampa city limits. If you want, you know, Disneyland and that sort of thing, that's gonna be obviously in Orlando, which is gonna be a good two hour drive. But if you're looking for entertainment for the kids, you don't have to travel far. 
you don't have to go all the way to Orlando. You've got Bush Gardens, Lowry Park, and Adventure Island almost in your backyard. So I hope some of this information was helpful for you as you're investigating neighborhoods to consider relocating to or just moving to in the Tampa St. Pete area. Riverview is definitely one you should consider. I think it's got a lot to offer, families especially, and affordability more than anything. But you can still get a luxury home in that area. So it really has a mixture of the three twos at 500K all the way up into the millions. It just depends on what part of town you're in. But I think in the heart of Riverview, you're gonna find a lot more affordable housing and nicer homes that you can you know, raise your family in and lots of things to do in that area. So as always, if you have any questions about anything pertaining to this video or any other areas in Tampa and St. Pete that you have questions about, don't be afraid to hit me up. You can either leave me a comment below or you can email me, you can call me, you can text me. I can't help you or answer those questions unless you reach out. So I really love hearing from everybody. It's really my joy, my pleasure to help you on this journey. And as always, if this content resonated with you, would you mind going ahead and clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell that helps me out so much. I really appreciate it. And as always, I, again, appreciate you coming and checking out my channel and watching this content. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.